Hi, this is Miss Andrea, and I am here at EcoStation at the Children's Museum Houston, and I'm going to show you how to do um, DIY plant markers. So we all like to plant, or most people like to plant, but sometimes you forget what you plant. And so it's a good idea to mark um, the areas where you plant this stuff, because that way that when somebody asks you, oh, that's a beautiful flower, what is that? And you can't remember the name, you can look at the plant marker. So. There are several different ways. I brought you some of them today. I really like the idea of using stuff that might get thrown um, and it's low cost. And so I, I went to the store and bought some bamboo skewers and those are really cheap. Like they're very cheap and um, they're also uh, very strong. And so this is a wine cork and I just painted the wine cork. Well, I didn't actually paint this one. This is one of my students did. It says lemon bee balm. And this was put out there when we planted wildflowers so that we would know what the names of the wildflowers were. And they worked very, very well because they um, hold up very well to the, to the weather, to the rain and those kind of things. So that's one idea. Uh, you can also just put the name of the plant or you can do a drawing of the plant. I like the idea of recycle. So uh, when my wooden spoons start to get kind of ugly and I'm gonna throw them out, I save them for something like this. So. Um, this is one that has carrots. Uh, I put tomatoes on the other side just to show you what they would look like. So I wouldn't put tomatoes and carrots on one uh, spoon unless tomatoes are on one side and carrots are on the other. And this was just done with permanent markers, but you can paint them. Or if you're not comfortable drawing, you can just put the name of it on there. Uh, I like the idea of trying to paint. This is real simple to paint, I mean to draw. I just took my marker and made two um, oval kind of shapes, a squishy with a little green stem inside. So it's not too hard and same thing with the carrots. Um, my carrots have definition because I use different colors. I used a dark orange, a light orange, and a little bit of red for the shadow. So it kind of makes it pop a little bit more. You can also take plastic forks. You're going to throw plastic forks away anyway. Be nice to wash them and then put the cork on top of them and then stick them in your garden. It's kind of funny. And then this one has peas on it. So um, you could do those all the way around and they hold up to the weather also very nicely. And I thought, what else do I have that gets thrown away? And I thought about plastic uh, bottle tops. So the plastic bottle tops, you can make a little hole in them using a nail. Um, or if you have uh, adult help, they can drill a hole for you. I would say they probably should help you with the nail also. And um, what I did with these is I just took also permanent markers and these are flowers, that's a sunflower. So I did a drawing of it and then I wrote sunflower on it so that I would remember um, what it looks like. And these are zinnias. And so I just did the same thing. It's very simple, um, but they looked, they look pretty nice. Um, you know, you can go by and take a look at them and then you know for sure, if you just write zinnia, you may not remember which one is zinnia. So, the last one I thought was cute, um, but it's a little bit harder. This one's so small. I might use paint on this one rather than marker because it's so dark. Paint would really stick out very nicely on it. Um, but this is an acorn. This is an acorn I found here at EcoStation. And I made a little hole in it and I put it on the bamboo skewer and then I just put a watermelon on it and put watermelon. So really easy stuff, really cute, and it serves a really good function. So. I hope this helps you out in your garden. This is Miss Andrea, signing out.